And incidentally, you can use the uh, shadow that the staff makes to uh, just getting it perpendicular. Buzz, Buzz is erecting the solar wind experiment now. as they move rather than uh, take steps, although you can see distinct footsteps. I was going to mention that it uh, looks something like crude animation or cartoon work, if you yes. would, as they walk across uh, probably like the scene. The early stages of cartoons, uh, if you're that old. Like King Kong. <laughs> right, King Kong. That's a good description. This is an adventure that far surpasses King Kong. The men now in the deep shadow of the limb, the limb between them and the rising sun. You know, I'd use words like unbelievable and fantastic, but that doesn't uh, describe no, it. it. <laughs> you know, and it, it would be trite to uh, compare sure. them to Lewis and Clark. Uh, Alden and Armstrong uh, are doing things that uh, are beyond any conception of past explorer, ex exploration. system is still looking good. Both men now still in the shadow of the limb. July 20th, 1969, that would be 66 years, right after the first man flew. Man's on the moon. Yes. And only, uh, uh, let's see, 57 okay. years since man first flew coast to coast in an airplane. And it took him about three months to do it. Did it come off? Where did I get the uh, camera? This limb was put right down perfectly on a spot 240,000 miles from Earth. When man first flew from coast to coast 57 years ago, they had to use railroad tracks as their uh, guidance and navigation system. And they'd send advanced crews out with a paintbrush and paint the railroad tracks to uh, point them in the right direction. Columbia, this is Houston, ALS, over. A desert at twilight. Pardon? A desert at twilight. Yes. 
It lives up to all its pre-landing billings, certainly in hospitable place. Rocks scattered about the small craters. Overhead, Collins and the command ship Columbia could hear, but not watch the unfolding drama. Columbia, this is Houston reading you loud and clear, over. Yeah, this is Houston reading. Yeah, radio loud and clear, how's it going? Roger, the EVA is progressing beautifully. I believe they're setting up the flag now. Great. I guess you're about the only person around that doesn't have TV coverage of the scene. That's alright, I don't mind a bit. How is the quality of the TV? Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. Oh, geez, that's great. Is the lighting halfway decent? Yes, indeed. They've got the flag up now, and you can see the stars and stripes Jeez, on the lunar system. Beautiful, just beautiful. However, this in no wise makes a territorial claim by the United States as, uh, you know, they can't claim this in the name of Queen Victoria. As a matter of fact, they have a flag for every nation with the exception of a couple, three, namely Red China and Cuba. It's this. See if you can pull that end off of them. Paint that end up a Still working with the flag now. They appeared to have the flag planted in the lunar soil and took it back out to try again. There seems to be a hard pan under the uh, inch or two of lunar dust on top. And there are spots in this hard pan that uh, presumably are difficult to penetrate. Perhaps that's the reason the flag uh, staff was pulled out and then replanted. The flag now in the lunar soil being held out in an unfurled position by a spring device. It's a little wire that runs right up the top of it, Russ. Keeps it sticking out in the airless world. And you know, the more I look at this picture, the more it looks like to me a, a, a grade B Western, to a certain extent, on a desert, you know, where they would use uh, night lighting. The astronauts have stepped to one side and are gazing at the flag. I don't know whether they're saluting it or not, but their back is to us and we can't see, but they, they seem to be standing in an attentive position as though they were uh, paying their respects to the flag. I think we're anticipating a telephone call to the moon from the White House. Neil, this is Houston, radio check over. Hi, Roger, Houston, loud and clear. Roger out. Loud and clear, Houston. Roger, Buzz. Now they are moving away from the flag. They are walking around without any effort at all, but they seem to be enjoying it, to say the least. Easier than in the simulator, Armstrong. <laughs> It's almost as if they were roller skating without skates. Just an easy shuffle of the, those heavy lunar boots and they uh, are able to move right along without any difficulty. I'd like to evaluate the uh, various paces that a person can traveling on the surface. I believe I'm out of your field of view. Is that right now, Houston? That's affirmative, Buzz. Here, 
you're in our field of view now. You do have to be. All right, you do have to be uh, rather careful uh, to keep track of where your center of mass is. Sometimes it takes about two or three spaces to uh, make sure that uh, you've got your feet underneath you. And about two or three or maybe four easy paces can bring you to a fairly smooth uh, stop. Direction. Like a football player, you just have to put out to the side, cut a little bit. 